When I actively started to upload videos on this channel, on June the 10th, 2017, there weren't many FreeBSD YouTube channels to be found. There still isn't a huge list, but there are a few more than there was then. Here are the ones that are dedicated to FreeBSD and BSD in general. First up is Duvalaki. I've known the chap behind this YouTube channel for quite a while now, and he's a very modest man, and he knows an incredible amount about FreeBSD. And his videos that he produces have helped me over the years, and not only that, but he has actually given me encouragement to carry on with the channel uh, when I've had moments when I think I should stop. So really, a top channel by a top fella. One of the nicest FreeBSD users you will ever meet. And I can genuinely say that he's a good friend. Next up is Kev. Now this is a newer channel. He hasn't as many videos on as Duvalaki. But these videos, like Duvalaki's, go into more detail um, about the nittier, grittier side of ZFS and servers. And he has a different style. Um, and I respect that. It would be a boring place if everybody had the same style of video making. Like I say, he, he produced some videos a while back, two years ago, then had a break. Now he's come back again. So check this guy out. He's a brilliant channel and yet another dedicated free BSD channel. So that gets two thumbs up. Next is the official free BSD YouTube channel. No, there's not that much on there. It's just started it recently. And there's a lot of there's a lot of what you call office hours, which is um, basically a like a Zoom meeting, really, with the top people, usually from FreeBSD or FreeBSD developers. You can learn a lot there from the very people who actually make FreeBSD. So uh, again, check this one out. They haven't been going that long. Then they've got 460 subscribers. So if you go in there and just click subscribe and feel part of the official FreeBSD YouTube channel. The next is BSD Canada. It's um, really a compilation of conferences and meetings and the videos go back quite a while back. You know, four years um, and all the conferences and talking about free BSD, but other BSDs too. So check out the back catalog. You might actually find something interesting. This was one of the channels that I first saw when I wanted to start up a FreeBSD channel. Next is EuroBSDCon. Like BSD Can, uh, this is a compilation of conferences and um, seminars by some of the cleverest people you'll find uh, in the developer side of FreeBSD. These people know their, know their onion, does it say? I've watched quite a few. Uh, I don't understand everything, but if you watch it and you understand it or you want to learn, this is, this is the place to look. They have quite a lot of videos going back a good few years, so check out what they've, uh, what they've put up. Next is BSD conferences. You probably noticed that the last, uh, last three have to do with conferences because there tends to be a lot of archiving of conferences for free BSD. This one, again, it's like the other two. Uh, it's just general conferences that have taken place or presentations. And yeah, it goes back 11 years. So there is a 11 years of material there. So there's free BSD and other BSDs too. Although the next one isn't a YouTube channel, it's a source of great help to free BSD users and one I have shown many users on the channel as a place to go if they need in-depth help on getting FreeBSD ready for the desktop. What this guy doesn't know isn't worth knowing. And it's Vermaiden, or Vermaden? Vermaiden, I think. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Now, the information on this particular blog and the help that, I have to say he, but he or she gives on Twitter is absolutely fantastic. Um, as you see, it's FreeBSD desktop guide, but it goes beyond that. There's guides into ZFS storage and networking. It's 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 a, it's an invaluable resource. 
and there's some screenshots if you need it and there's the guide for desktop and then of course you've got the bottom of uh, file systems yeah it's really good and ZFS it, 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 it's, it's really in depth and it's not the only article he's got he's got other ones on his blog site so as with all the others I'll leave links in the description and you go and check him out absolutely brilliant if you've got any questions about FreeBSD send him an email and say Robo sent you and that's it um, I'm sorry if I've not included any other sites or any other channels but they're the only main ones I can think of FreeBSD community is a large one but the presence on YouTube is not so great and that was one of the overriding reasons why I wanted to start a YouTube channel in the first place because I felt that there wasn't really a presence on YouTube for FreeBSD and I think I'm achieving that quite well predominantly most of my uh, videos are about free BSD. I mean that is a niche within a niche and I've managed to gather quite a sizable although not huge but a sizable subscriber base and I'm quite proud of that and I'm proud of all the subscribers and viewers we'll just try to make free BSD a, a fourth alternative you know Windows Mac OS and Linux I think that free BSD gets overlooked and really it should be listed as a fourth choice Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.